story. I've never felt at home anywhere. The first time that I felt homesick was when I left you on that porch. This is Us, the final chapter, Tuesday, 9, 8 central on NBC. I'm hearing real improvement in your speech. Thank This beautiful breakthrough where eh. your language comes flooding back, it can happen any moment. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Norman Reedus, NBC Tonight. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news at the Supreme Court where protesters have been out all night. Politico is reporting the Supreme Court could be on the verge of making a monumental decision about abortion rights. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Chuck Henry. We're also streaming live right now on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV as well. Well, Politico says it has obtained a draft from a majority opinion that says the Supreme Court plans to strike down Roe versus Wade, the landmark abortion ruling. That would essentially make abortion rights a state issue instead of federally protected. And tonight, Governor Newsom is weighing in, saying the state of California is making plans now to amend the Constitution. That just happened. And NBC4's Robert Cavassi joins us live right here in the studio with the very latest. Robert. Chuck and Colleen, in the words of NBC News presidential historian Michael Beschloss, remember where you were when you heard the news tonight. This draft of a Supreme Court opinion obtained by Politico would overturn nearly 50 years of established abortion rights. Now, we do want to point out NBC News has not been able to independently verify the authenticity of the document, and the Supreme Court has declined to comment. If it is indeed real, this leak coming out of the Supreme Court would be absolutely unprecedented in modern times. California's governor, meantime, not waiting to learn if it's real or not. In the nation's capital, barricades outside the United States Supreme Court, where people with strong opinions have gathered throughout the night. The unborn are human, and we've been killing them in mass to the tune of millions. This is something that affects me so personally and, and hurts so much to know that has might be ripped away from me. Reaction to an opinion published by Politico that suggests five Supreme Court justices side with Mississippi in its case challenging the 1973 ruling that legalized abortion nationwide. It would mean that there is no longer a federally protected right to obtain an abortion. So what does that mean practically? Practically, it means women would live in two very different Americas. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, some states would automatically completely ban or severely restrict abortions. The next thing that we're going to see from red states, I think, is to try and outlaw their residents from traveling to obtain an abortion. As for California, Planned Parenthood releasing a statement that reads in part, know this, Planned Parenthood health centers across California will remain open. They will remain willing to help. And we will do all we can to continue to provide abortion services to all who need it or seek it here in California. A statement from Americans United for Life reads in part, we stand alongside all Americans who have waited so hopefully and for so long for the Supreme Court to reverse Roe to set America on the path to abortion abolition and to restore justice to our nation. Today is a day for courage and hope. The court's final opinion is expected in late June or early July. The final vote and the final decision could change. It is possible that this decision could change. That could be one of the motivations behind the leak is to hope that you are going to change people's opinion. It could also be one of the motivations behind the leak to hope that people will stay with their decision. As for the leak itself? It is absolutely an earthquake for the Supreme Court. I think it could fundamentally change the way they do business and how they function. Check this out behind me. Late tonight, Governor Newsom tweeting, we are proposing an amendment to enshrine the right to choose in the California Constitution. We can't trust SCOTUS to protect the right to abortion, so we'll do it ourselves women will remain protected here. No reaction yet from the White House regarding the leaked decision. I'm Robert Kovacic, Chuck and Colleen.
All right, thank you, Robert. For sure, we're going to hear a lot more about that tomorrow. And more breaking news tonight, this time Pasadena, where police are investigating a deadly shooting. It happened along North Fair Oaks. NBC4's Hetty Chang is live in Pasadena.